So one of the basic intentions for the wild plants series was to start showing families plants that are related to each other um, more closely. By looking at their family or their genus, you start to see how the tree of life, especially the plant kingdom, how that tree of life divides away and species mutate and become more different than each other. But you can follow backwards and see their relationships. One episode I wanted to shoot here in midsummer is showing the pea family. Now a lot of these aren't native, uh, but it doesn't matter, native or not, that wasn't one of the goals of the series. Um, these plants are naturalized, which means they're now part of this landscape, now part of this region. Um, so let's try to go through them really quick and I'll see if I can keep this episode a lot tighter. So up first is a common pasture plant, uh, originally planted intentionally, uh, but this is vetch. Now this looks like a really simple one. I believe this is just called purple vetch, and that's obviously named. But what I really wanted to do with this series is get a real close-up of these flowers. Let's see if I can focus on this. Get a look at these flowers up close. Come on, lens. There we go. And you can kind of see, let's get this one from the side. It's kind of a cluster of smaller flowers that, on this head. It's growing on a vine. It has these little tendrils where it hooks. Let's see if we can get another one. You can see those curly tendrils there. Let's see if I can find one climbing up another plant. Cause that's what this thing's trying to do. It's sprawling out over this new area and it's just trying to climb up and over stuff. Check out this little composite or compound leaf. Oh, there we go. There's some tendril action. Look how it's grabbing onto that grass stem. That's pretty cool. Just nodding around. And then the leaf, composite leaf. Now let's jump over to another cousin of this plant. Here we go. Much smaller flower, but if this camera that I'm holding will get into zoom here, you might see some similarities. A little cluster. How's that? And now this, I believe, is hop clover. Got the three leaves of clovers. Clover, providing a very good source for these bumblebees. You can buy clo you can buy honey that's straight clover. That's one very common type. This is also a good foraging food. Again, a cluster of flowers. You might be able to see, if I get this focus right, these sort of tubular flowers, very similar to the vetch but more in this bloom cluster rather than this elongated tendril. Check out those V's though, those chevrons on the leaf. That's a distinguishing feature. Hairy undersides, fuzzy. I don't know if I'll be able to see this, but clover usually runs along the ground like a vine, and this field is a little bit too shaggy for me but it creeps along the ground on something called a stolen. And I'll try to pull up a picture of that. Okay, I drove down the road for this last one. So we got one more type of vetch here, a little bit more of a bigger, sturdier one. You can see these leaf, these compound leaves are a lot bigger. And check out the flower, a little more pronounced, a little bit bigger of a blossom, very much like the other clover. Big old pink blossoms growing along the edge here. And let's see if we can find where these are closing up. Now nearby, got this nice younger bloom of lupin here. Perhaps the biggest version of those similar flowers. 
clustered at the head here. It's, in some ways it falls between the vetch we looked at and the clover. Got more of a unique leaf. This one goes at the end of a stem. And then it's this big cluster, this whorled cluster. And now the cool part is after this gets pollinated, you get these, which are not done maturing yet. But this is really what I had hoped to see in all the examples I looked at today. And that's the obvious, the most obvious signal that this is in the pea family. And that's the seed pod. And the fascinating part is on the clovers, it's going to do the same thing. Alright, so here's the locust that I wanted to get to. And if you notice, at the very least, it's very similar leaf pattern growth to all the little other cousins that it had, to the vetch, and to probably your garden peas that maybe you are most familiar with. Apparently there's a ton of different locusts and they hybridize well. See the thorns? Might be black locusts, I could be totally wrong. I don't see any pea pods though, so this one either didn't flower or it's still developing them. <laughs> 